you know, there's a lot of rules to biotoping. And uh, that was all, that was actually what kept me from doing biotopes in the beginning because too many I was thinking there's so many rules and always someone coming and saying, no, that's not a biotope, you know. A school teacher by day and creates awesome biotypes by night. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> Hi David. Hello. How are you? Yeah. I'm very good. And you? Yeah, I'm really good. This is even more comfortable than last time. Yeah, you got the good seat this time. Did you deliberately position it here for, for me? Yeah, all for you. Thank you, mate. And uh, thanks for giving me a lift back from Tropica. It's always a pleasure. You got some plants out of it, didn't you? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> some of them uh, going in here. Oh, well. they? Okay. Yeah. It looks brilliant, mate. And we've for those that don't know, we have talked about this tank before, three months ago. Yeah. And it has grown in. What's developed since the last time we saw it? Mostly the um, ocelots in the front. Oh, yeah. They've uh, grown significantly. They're really good. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's come some more of the quads. Something. Oh, the quadrico status. Exactly that one, yeah. Yeah, the helanthium. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and then have you had to sort of yeah. maintain that, trim it, and keep it? Yeah, it's uh, sending out those roots, the shoots, and yeah, cutting off the the, the old ones. So mm. yeah, that's actually growing quite good. And yeah. sometimes the plecus are derooting it, so it needs to be yeah. going down as well. So. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's it's a very it was like a nice community now, with the, especially with the guppies. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us yeah. about the guppies. Yeah, I've never really kept good guppies and always been kind of uh, uh, against it, I think. But um, then I had the opportunity to catch some in the wild, in the stream in Germany, uh, and got them with me home. Ah. And um, they kind of fitted into the Amazon Rio Loco theme because they yeah. are naturally from you know the wild guppies back Posilia reticulata is from Rio Orinoco. Okay. So yeah, they kind of fit it in. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think they look nice. They had a nice bit of activity. Yeah, and they uh, they they put in some activity, and I, I and also like their a little bit more natural look. Oh yeah, they're not the gaudy colours. No. Because you already have the high impact colour with the cardinal tetras. Yeah, so so I, I like those more adult uh, gobbies. That's mm. fine for me. you got your splash of yellow with the bristle nose. Yeah, that's the lady. And uh, and I have a male as well. Bristle. Yeah. yeah. And there's also uh, yeah, it's a couple of young ones. B uh, babies? Yeah. They bred just a couple of days later than you, nice. your last visit. So, and yeah. I removed most of them, but there was a couple of <laughs> stains. So, the wood, the wood looks beautiful. How um, it looks like one coherent piece. Mm. Is it three pieces? That's three, three pieces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It looks really well. Yeah, and it's also trying to keep. You know the, the soil in place, so um, the bristle nose doesn't really agree with me that it needs to stay in. Mm. in the back. So is it sand at the front and soil at the back? Yeah, it is. Okay. And it is emerging like it's always. It always does. It looks very natural. Yeah, it helps with those small stones in between. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm taking some of it up with a magnet sometimes and that's kind of it's good fun yeah <laughs> it is it's on a, a like a extendable show you show you yeah it's just um oh wow yeah it's actually Can you give him a demonstration yeah it works kind of kind of good and then you can almost oh and wow then it's, it's, yeah so yeah. Works fine. Just shake it ah, off. He shakes so, off. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, I should take money for that. You know, people coming to the house and yeah. 
Amazing. Yeah. And what other fish, the diamond tetras, they're beautiful. Yeah, they've grown in really, really good. And there's, um, there's actually a lot of activities between the males. And I like that. Mm. They um, kind of um, dances around each other and, and showing their big, big fins. Mm. So, um, yeah, that, that looks really good. Yeah, it does. Corridoras. Yeah, uh, and they're just adorable. Just Cute. swimming like like small puppies around and always. Yeah, they remind me of schnauzers. Yeah, they do. They do. They are so adorable. So uh, yeah, I like corridors, really. And the angel fish, still quite small, aren't they? Do you think they'll get much bigger? They should be. Yeah, I hope <laughs> they should. They they tend to grow significantly larger, but. Yeah, are the other fish getting more food, do you think? Or? I think uh, they, are, yeah, they have been a little slow to, yeah. to and some of my my food they are spitting out as well. Oh, so yeah. um, I'm trying to, I'm moving more to uh, frozen foods. So okay, yeah, that's oh, very peaceful. again it's the Shihiros A2 and um, A2 yeah yeah there must be an A1 I think <laughs> yeah there is it's quite and, bright isn't it yes and I think also that's why I can I think there's some some good red no no, no CO2 yeah no CO2 wow and um, yeah. oh, sorry I keep yawning it's really rude <laughs> I've been working, you know, the test lab is quite warm and I've been in there all day filming. Takes, yeah, takes it, day. yeah. Uh, and then in, in the city, the hotel in the city is quite noisy. Okay. So, yeah, I'm tired. And this is really comfy. <laughs> oh, you got a practical fish keeping? Yeah, I wrote an article. Um, Did you? For it, yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Is that your first one? No, it's the third one. Actually. Third one in here. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. I didn't realise. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm a bit proud of that. I must say. Oh, so so you should be. To which page is that? Do you know? Uh, Sixty. <laughs> Straight Sixty away. What should you do? School teacher by day and creates awesome biotypes by <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, and what was the editor's name again? Nathan Hill. Nathan. Nathan. Yes. Um, his, his words. These are great photos. Oh, I got some footage of this, and then people can see. Yeah. So, which issue is this? Uh, September. Oh, okay, this one. Yes, the, it's the newest. You one. can download it on your app as well, can't you? Yeah. Oh, I completely forgot we've been videoed. Sorry. <laughs> I love, I, love, cut it out. I, love, I love I love flicking through a magazine. I love there's something about holding a magazine though, isn't it? Like uh, I love it as well. I just can't uh, scrolling on a, a it's simply just not the same. No. You know, I could I can easily get the digital edition yeah. on my phone, but it's just not the same. I love that big yeah. magazine and uh, that's too do, do you think that's do you think it's um because that's how we've been brought up, or do you think is actually something fundamentally different to our senses that that makes it like we don't we don't like the paper we don't like the digital so much as the paper yeah. and do you think most people feel the same or do you think some people prefer digital perhaps when it comes to articles but I don't think there's much many people prefer ebooks over real books that's something that's also a kind of an element of yeah. Being able to read it, that's, there is some something that's much easier. But, yeah. Nothing beats the real three-dimensional thing, though, does it? No. That's Here's a weird thought for you. 
can probably cut this out because it's really abstract, but I don't think of the aquarium as a, a box in your, don't think of the aquarium as a separate box in your living space. Think of, think of the aquarium as everything and everything around the aquarium is them looking at us. So it's like uh, we're the, we're their aquarium. <laughs> we're the attraction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've created paradoxically a little universe and, and they think that we're their playthings, you know? Yeah. It's like the scene in Men in Black where they open the locker room. Yeah. 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 So who's the who's the prisoner? They're, they're, them or us? <laughs> we're the prisoner because we we have to look after them. Yeah, that's you know if you, if you're doing it properly. Yeah. Yes. They become the prisoner if we neglect. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a different way of looking at it, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I like to see the the, the aquarium as a as a window to to nature mm. and this small slice of nature cut out and and put in your living room. Mm. That's kind of a, a good thought. Really cool. Yeah. And I think that's why I'm always pursuing the natural look of it, although this is not Pirate's Hope, but it, some kind of inspiration. Yeah, did you want to give any replies to the feedback? You got some feedback on the last video, didn't you, about it not being invited? Yeah, uh, I think that was my other thing, mostly. This, oh, this did, one? We did, yeah, we didn't really say this was oh, okay so, but uh, yeah that's some there is a lot of uh, tense around the word biotope but yeah. yeah in some sense i would like to calm that down and just, yeah we can just uh, you know there's a lot of rules to biotoping and I've, uh, that was all that was actually what kept me from doing biotopes in the beginning because too many I rules. Think there's so many rules and always someone coming and saying, no, that's not a biotope, you know, and we shouldn't do that because we're all just aiming to have a natural looking yeah. aquarium. So, um, and all, you know, you can do it perfectly correct and then you'll just come and say, no, this route, that's not from well, that's, South America. Yeah, but the, someone's need to correct you. Mm shows more about that person than it does you mm. because if, if if someone has the motivation to want to point out a, what they perceive as a fault when it's probably just a subjective thing anyway then the person that's doing the criticizing is either coming from a place of genuine wanting to help you out you know mm. or they're just projecting their own ego, mm. you know, onto, onto you. Either way, you shouldn't really care. <laughs> no. Because it's, it's just your tank and you're having fun with it. Yeah. And yeah. of course we need to use the right terms and stuff, but I think we need a broader word for biotoping or natural, na natural aquarium. Natural style, because we've got nature yeah. aquarium, which is a an aquascaping yeah, yeah, term it isn't really it's like you know it's, yeah. that, that's almost like a trademark yeah but it, it is really a good <laughs> it's actually saying a lot of what yeah what it, the style is but yeah, the yeah. is kind of occupied no exactly <laughs> it's um what does Ty call it habitat style or yeah yeah you can always get away with it by putting hyphen mm. and then style or yeah. hyphen <laughs> inspired because yeah. yeah I think as long as you're as long as you're enjoying it and you're mm. sharing it with people for the right, you know, for the right reasons, you know, not pretending it's something it isn't. You're never going, I actually went there by helicopter. Mm. I, I scuba dived it. I did all the water parameter mm. testing. Yeah. I got DNA samples from yeah. the soil. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all of the stones. Yeah, well, the these are the actual stones yeah. from that location. Yeah. All of this is in, in that same like two meter. Mm. Because it's just impossible to create that. Yeah, because to be honest, most 
most scenes in nature in this, you know, kind of one meter and twenty is kind of boring. Oh yeah. You know, you need when you're looking yeah. at nature, you always see like the, yeah. the whole view yeah and that's interesting but you know this small then you need yeah to you probably wouldn't get four meat. different species of fish within the same no, one meter you'll probably just have okay, the same, one or two the same one species of yeah of plants and so what we're doing is we're shrinking a big space mm. even even in a realistic biotype mm. we're shrinking it into a small like a concentration yeah aren't we be yeah. like a metropolis in a city, you know, when you have yeah. a complete diverse, mm. you know, culture, culturally, racially, sexually, you mm. know, divert everything is. <laughs> yeah, that's like a community, you know, something like a community tank, I guess. Yeah, and, and it's it's kind of the same when you have a an, an historical film. It's always coming out, and uh, although it's 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 based on real real uh, history. Then there's always these people, no, it's not historical, correct, it's not the real. But that was kind of never the intention. No. It was to tell the story. Yeah. Because yeah. reality is, if you just brought reality down to a film, many people would be extremely boring. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's like over a massive long period of time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And if they actually did it in real time, yeah. over 90 minutes, it there would be boring. Just people sat there. Yeah. Twiddling the thumb. Sitting on the, on the toilet and <laughs> yeah. So it is so this you, is based on nature. It's based on nature yeah. inspired by nature. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful though. Yeah, I like it. And I, I'm hoping to have it as a long run. And that's kind of also why it's it's not running CO2, because I know mm. I, I would just be Maybe I'd come back every three months then. Yeah. See. See how long it keeps going for. Yeah, I hope I hope we, I can have this for a long, for a long one. I'm, I'm not really good at keeping long-term projects, so so this is also kind of a um, a way to to keep it for a longer period for myself. Otherwise, I will just as when the plants were mature and all mm. grown in, I would just lose something. Yeah. So now we are we're not rushing anything. We're just letting it be. Yeah. At what what size is it? It's uh, three hundred liters. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and one hundred twenty-two centimeters wide. Mm. So yeah, it's a nice size. Water like. change? How many? Yeah, about forty, fifty percent every week. Mm. Yeah. And what sort of tap water, water do you use? Just uh, directly from the tap. Yeah, and yeah. then. I have a bottle outside the window and I'm pulling it out in and it's going to the flowers and the garden. Oh, nice. So yeah. Just one filter? Yeah, yeah, because it's it's kind of f efficient. Mm -hmm. This uh, alcohol. So <sighs> sorry. Oh. I'm gonna be uh, exhausted after dinner. <laughs> it's so fine. Yeah. <clears throat> those, I can't, those diamond touches are my favourites, I think. Yeah, I like them as well. They really... Uh, I'm actually the kind of... Yeah, they uh, surprised me. They were so so beautiful in reality. I've never really no noticed them going around in... No, they never look like that in a store. No, not really. So, yeah, they're beautiful coloration. Yeah, they're kind of pinkish. Blue, blue, to, blue, yeah. yeah that's I like the blue. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and then when the angels go in, yeah. yeah. Can we feed them? Yeah, um, lot of lots of different stuff actually. Frozen, uh, broad variety of. Can you feed them? Foods. Feed them now? Yeah, we can just try that. <laughs> Tetras look kind of cool when they are taking the flakes. Mm. Then you're just going to the surface like a torpedo, and then 
turn them back. <laughs> Evaporation. You know, evaporation. Uh, goes down. Uh, not that I'm noticing. I, uh, in the summer, at least, it's no problem because the windows and the doors are always open. Mm. So, but I'm, I'm, I need to be a little focused on it in the winter when the doors are shuttered and everything. So we need. To, I'm, I'm opening the windows. Mm. I, couple of times a day just to be sure but I can really it's it's not really that much it's mm. shrinking over a, a week so yeah Good. should we take some dinner yeah is it ready yeah I think it smells great yeah, so we've had dinner now and yes. now we're gonna film the last few minutes of this beautiful aquarium um, before I go into a complete food coma. <laughs> yeah, that was a delicious, yes. that was a delicious meal. Um, what can we talk about? I mean, the, the fish we talked about, the plants. How, how are you feeding the plants? Liquid fertiliser? Yeah, it's uh, Tropica. Premium or yeah. specialised? Yeah, the brown one. The premium? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And you've got floating plants, Amazon yeah. frog bit. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, to make take uh, take the worst. Yeah, and, uh, I'm just taking uh, some handfuls yeah. once a week. Yeah, <laughs> throwing them out or That's great. putting them in some of the other tanks. So yeah, it's just uh, that plant has definitely grown fast. Yeah, so it's good. Yeah. Well, thank you, David. Always a pleasure to see you. I think I should come every three months yeah. and uh, give you some motivation to keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've always got your, your other two small tanks that we can look at now yeah. to keep you, you know, yeah. keep you going. Okay, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, show David some love in the comments if you enjoy uh, what you see. Take care, see you on the next one. Cheerio, yeah. thanks mate. Perfect. Yeah.